Good morning, Pilgrim family and those that are new and just finding me. Welcome to our Connect or our Sunday School lesson for January. Today, we're going to talk about how we get the news. Now, before newspapers were printed, there was a person who was called a town crier who would come into the town square and ring a bell and would unroll a scroll that they had and they would read off the news to all that were in the town court telling an important message that needed to be presented about a special meeting or something that was going to happen in their village. That's how they got the news. And even after the printing press was invented and newspapers were, were printed, still those who sold the papers would go up and down on the streets yelling, headline, headline, here's today's news, trying to draw people in to hear the message and to buy the newspapers. Now, how do we get the news today? That's right, we might get it by the newspaper, reading it from cover to cover, getting all the important news that has come out for the day, right? We might get it on the internet. We might read it on our phones or on the computer and see what the news stories are for the day. Or we might see it on television. A lot of people watch the news on the television. That's how I watch it. Or listen to the radio. Those are all ways that we hear the news. Now, we don't have someone walking up and down our street yelling, here's today's headlines, but they certainly announce them very loudly on the internet or in the headline of the newspaper. We see it that way. Long before Jesus was born, God sent a messenger or a prophet named Isaiah who shared God's message with us. And part of it sounded like this. I will send my messenger to prepare the way. He will be a voice of one crying in the desert. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Clear the road for him. John the Baptist, who we're, we're going to learn about today, was one of those messengers who came to share the message that God wanted us to know about the coming of Jesus. He would go around and he would talk to all of those in the desert who were searching and looking, and he would tell them the word of God. Now, John was kind of an unusual man. He dressed in a camel hair's outfit with a leather belt around, and he ate locusts. Do you know what locusts are? A certain kind of bug and wild honey. Those were the things that he ate because he really wasn't concerned about how he dressed or what he ate. He was more interested in sharing the message of God. And when someone agreed to be a follower, he would take them down to the River Jordan and he would baptize him. Have you ever been baptized? Some of us were baptized as babies, some when we were older. That's a special commitment or promise that we make to God or our parents make to God for us if we're little, that we will follow and learn all about God all the days of our lives. Now, John the Baptist was very popular and had a great following, but he always told everyone all about Jesus. And he said this, someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, he said. He is so much greater than I am, not even worthy to stoop down and untie the straps on his sandals. Yes, John was very careful to remember to tell the story of Jesus's coming because that was the true message God sent him to share with everyone that he met. And he soon would meet Jesus and baptize Jesus himself in the Jordan River. Now that happened over 2,000 years ago, and that message is still very important. That is the hear ye, hear ye, town crier news that we need to be sharing with others, that God is love and God is here for you. And that's the good news for today. Okay, so we've just finished learning about John the Baptist, and we know he had something unusual that he liked to eat. He liked to eat locusts. 
Do you know what a locust is? That's right, it's a kind of bug. Do you think that'd be something that you'd want to eat? Maybe, maybe not. But this morning, we're going to make a locust. And here's what you're going to need. I sent this to you in a link. You will have, this shows the directions and what the final locust will look like. And these are the pieces that you will print out and color. And then you also will either need markers or crayons, some tape, glue, scissors, and here's the pieces that I cut out already. And you can see that I have colored them. Now it says in here that you need a green piece of construction paper to put around your toilet paper roll. But you know, if you don't have any green construction paper, you can just use whatever color you have, or you can just color a piece of white paper to the color that you want. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I am going to take my green paper and I am going to roll it around my toilet paper roll. Now you could glue or tape this however you'd like but I found it easier to use tape on this part because it stayed on a little better while I was holding it down. So that is step one. Step one is taping your construction paper or your colored piece of green paper to the toilet paper roll. Then you'll take your face, there's enough to make two, your face and your wings and you'll color them however you'd like. Now I colored mine like this and then I put a little tape on the back but you could also glue it however you'd like and you stick it to one end of the tube to put his face on there. And then you take your wings that you've cut out and you stick those on top. At any time, you can stop this tape and do those parts and then start again so that we can keep going. Now for the legs that you're going to cut out and color, they suggest that you put it on some cardboard because you're going to need them kind of sturdy to hold it up. So I just took a carton from Pop and I cut that out and that's going to be my cardboard for the backing, but you could use a cereal box or even if you had some poster board or anything that's just a little bit sturdier than paper. And then you'll glue your colored legs to the cardboard and let that dry a bit. And then you can cut that out. Have you ever eaten anything kind of unusual? something that was different for you to eat? And did you find out that it was something that you really liked that you never thought you would like? Maybe that's what happened with John the Baptist from eating locusts. So now you've cut out your leg and then you would cut out the other leg and then you will attach them to your toilet paper roll here. And those will be his legs. Do you see that? That's how that will work. Um, I won't take the time to cut out the other one right now, but that's what you would do. You would cut out the other one and you would attach it to the side of his body here by his wings. And that would be how he would stand up. Pretty neat, huh? So now you've created your locust. So maybe this week, try something different that you've never tried before and let me know what you thought. Yes, John was very careful to remember to tell the story of Jesus' coming because that was the true message God sent him to share with everyone that he met. And he soon would meet Jesus and baptize Jesus himself in the Jordan River. Now that happened over 2,000 years ago, and that message is still very important. That is the hear ye, hear ye, town crier news that we need to be sharing with others, that God is love and God is here for you. And that's the good news for today. 
I want to thank you all for joining me today to learn about John the Baptist and for making our locust craft. I have also attached for you a short YouTube video all about John the Baptist's life. It's just a couple minutes long and it'll give you a better idea of who he was and what he did. So I hope you'll take a moment to look at that. Now let us close in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for this special time of the year when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. There are many who don't know about Jesus. Help us to be your messengers and share the good news. In Jesus' name, amen.